Hello everyone. Okay, I am going to try and do something a little bit different today. So this is a little gumball machine that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, they had uh, several different colors uh, when I got these. So I think I'm going to paint this bunny. I don't know if I'm going to paint anything on the base or not. I may just leave it pink. Um, but I think I'm going to paint the bunny part of this and uh, see what we can do with it. So the first thing I want to do is clean it with some uh, rubbing alcohol and then try not to let my fingers get on it uh, as I'm building it or painting it. I don't want to leave it in there because I don't want to accidentally get paint on the pink part and we don't necessarily have to paint down here where it, you know, where, where it actually screws into it. So I may make sure I leave that part, but I just want to make sure it is wiped down really good. It's going to be so hard not to touch this. Oh, it's got a little dented in ear right there. I didn't notice that when I bought it. Let me see if I can push that out. I may have done that when I was. I had several in a sack, so it might have gotten. Okay, I ended up uh, using my heat tool and very lightly heating this. This is a really thick plastic on here. And then used the end of my um, palette knife and pushed up on that while it was still warm. It got most of it out. It's still got a little dent in it, but uh, we're just going to go ahead with it and get going. So the first thing I want to do is put some multi-purpose sealer on this. You could also use some paint adhesion medium on this. brush here. You can apply this on here with a sponge as well, which would might be a little bit easier than a brush. So I'm going to put a coat on here and try and cover, make sure I get all of the plastic covered because I want my paint to adhere to it. So once I get my first coat on and it dries because it'll be a little bit of a milky color on this plastic, you'll be able to see if there's any areas that you did not um, get any of this multi-purpose sealer on. Um, I highly recommend that you uh, have multi-purpose sealer in your paint studio, but if you do not and you have a flat or a matte medium, something that doesn't have any kind of shine in it that will make the paint resist, some kind of medium like that, you could put that on uh, as your um, under part to get the paint, to help the paint to stick to the plastic. But uh, multi-purpose sealer works well on I've tried it on every type of surface you can imagine, and it has worked on every surface um, making that paint stick. I have been so impressed by this product. I've used it for many, many years. It's a deco art product, and um, I just I just won't paint without it. It's just it's my go-to stuff. All right, try and smooth this out so I can have as little as brush strokes as possible that ear so let me get that inside this ear okay I'm gonna let it dry it's starting to dry now and get a little tacky so I don't want to keep brushing over it because it's just gonna make extremely excessive brush strokes strokes on it while it's drying so now I just need to let this get dry and see if there's any places I've missed or just go ahead and apply a second uh, coat on here you know if you want to be doubly sure that everything's going to stick well. Okay, I've got my, my multi-purpose sealer dry on this. Uh, I'm going to use a damp sponge to actually paint my base coat on and I've used a piece of either a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll and stuffed up in there so I could have a handle to hold this with. Um, I'm going to base this with a dark color and then we'll build lighter from there. So I'm going to start with um, some dark chocolate color here and just take my sponge. I think this will be an easier way to 
apply the paint onto here because it's going to take a couple of coats. It really just depends on if you want a texture on your bunny. Got some kind of little goober thing in there. I'm at the end of my paint on this bottle, so it's got some yuckies in it. Okay, and I'm just going to tap this all over. I hope this works out. I have no idea if this will even work out and look cute. But we are going to do two, at least two coats, possibly three. I want to make sure I've got good solid coverage here. I'll probably take my brush and get down low here. And I'm going to stay out of the center of the ear because I want to paint that um, pink. Let me get a new bottle of paint here. See if I can get some that's not got all those little chunkies in it. And you can certainly oop, try and stay out of the ear there. You can certainly paint your bunny any color that you want. I'm eventually going to get it to a kind of light brown color. So using a sponge like this, it's obviously creating a texture on here, um, which is going to work fine for me. I'm not sure if I got enough um, medium on my bunny here in the center. There we go because it wasn't wanting to take the paint right there. All right. Go back over these areas where I had my fingers all over it. All right, I'm gonna get it dry and do a second coat. I'm also going to um, go down along the bottom down here. Let me see if I can get my sponge down. That's a pretty tight little place down in there. So uh, my sponge isn't wanting to really go down in there, so I think I'm going to have to do that with a paintbrush. So I'm going to get it dry and then paint down below there, and then I'm going to apply a second coat. It's already looking pretty good. It almost looks like a chocolate bunny right now. Um, so it's, it's even with one coat, it's looking pretty good, but I am very definitely going to be applying two coats onto this little bunny. Okay, uh, I got two coats of brown on here. And it's pretty dry, definitely looking like a chocolate bunny, which is so cute. Um, I've got this, um, like, almost like a deerfoot type brush. It's got longer bristles, um, and I'm going to use it dry. And I'm going to mix a little bit of white and pink together. And I want to tap this inside the ears and start getting a layer of paint inside the ears. finish covering up all that um, area that we can see through. With a cute little pink stuff in the ear. Super cute. Take a couple of coats and we can tap a little bit on the nose as well. Any kind of little stipply brush will do just fine. Alright, I got a little bit past the nose. I'm going to see if I can clean that up a little bit. Damp brush. I could have went to a smaller little stippling brush for the nose. That probably would have been a good idea. Uh, I will go down to a little bit smaller one. I can find a smaller one or just go to a little I think I'll just go to a little um, flat brush here. I want to put some white on the eyes. So I'm just going to paint the eyes. Whatever shape you want them to be. I mean, they, they do have a shape here, but um, you know, you can kind of create your own little shape if you want to. I think well, how I'm painting them in is very similar to the shape that's on the plastic. So. 
and got pink, I just wanted white. <laughs> this one just a tiny bit bigger and it will take a couple of coats get a nice opaque white here okay so we're gonna let that dry just a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and rinse the stippling brush I used out We're going to work on starting some fur colors uh, on our bunny. Uh, I'm going to try khaki tan um, and see if that's a color that I'm going to like. And I'm going to use, I think I'm going to either start with a wave brush or a rake brush. Um, let's see what I got in wave brushes here. I've got a little wave, wave brush here. It's a number eight. I'm going to see if that's going to get me a, a, a first good effect on this fur. I might want to, um, you know, just go straight into a um, rake brush, but I think this is going to work pretty good. I'm just going to start giving this rabbit the little look of fur on it. So we're going to come up from the nose and work our way back. Nice fresh paint here. Um, if your paint's a little thick, you might want to add a little bit of water so you can have some nice uh, flowy consistency to it. And then we're going to start working our way down and around. I'm not an animal painter so you know this is going to be a fun more fun kind of playful uh, little bunny. Go around your eyes. So we're just creating our first little layer of fur. I've got just a little bit too much water in my paint, but he's turning out kind of cute. I might zoom in just a little bit. I feel like I'm pretty far out trying to keep keep the bunny and my palette on the on the camera shot. cheeks kind of out here we've got a couple layers to go so I don't want you to overthink or overwork the first layer here Here. That's a lot of water in my paint. I'm just using the very tip of this brush. I'm not giving any pressure to it. I'm just letting those little tip, those little fingers right there, just kind of um, flow across the um, the bunny. Trying not to give any pressure. I mean occasionally you're probably going to give a little bit of pressure. Try and get 
get some underneath here just in case any of it shows. Okay, let's go on to the ears and we'll start working the ears a little bit. We still got to finish the centers here, so. Another layer of paint needs to go on the centers of those ears. So this is just our first layering here. Just take your time. No need to rush. A little bit more water in my paint. When it doesn't want to come off of my brush easy, um, I need some moisture, either in the brush or in the paint or a combination of the two. You can probably handle it with your hands now. Um, I'm just trying to keep it inside this because it gives me more to grip. Every now and then I'll push it up in there so it gives me a nice good handle. center here. Definitely need more moisture in my paint. It's coming off a little thick. Oops, still a little thick. Too much moisture. It's a fine line in there. Okay, that's a good first layer in there. He's looking super cute. Super cute already. Okay, so our next layer, I'm going to add some white to this. Um, well, actually, I think I'll go with the golden, uh, a little bit of golden straw for my second layer. And I probably will mix a little bit of that color that I just put in there. So I'm going to grab some yellow and a little bit of that brown color. We'll make a more neutral yellow here. And you don't have to put yellow on yours, it, you know, if you want to just go with another layer of that khaki tan, you can. Alright, we're going to start being a little, we don't have to cover up all that khaki tan, so don't try to cover it all up. Add a little bit more shape and form in here. After this layer, we'll do another coat in our ears. This layer shouldn't really take as long because we're not putting in as much paint. We still want to see some of that dark in here, and we want to see some of that khaki tan we put on. So that's why this layer won't take as long because we're we're still. Um, you know, showing those other colors in here. And if you do cover up too much, you know, we can come back in and add whatever color you feel like you lost too much of. Like if you feel like you lost too much of the dark, you can certainly come in and add that back in. Okay, this layer won't take long. 
because we're not covering up everything. We're just adding a little bit of brightness on here. It's kind of an equal mix here of the two. Okay, that was a quite a little blob there. Okay, we're looking pretty good here, I think. All right, so I'm going to rinse this brush out because I want to go use this brush in the ears with that pink and white. So two whites, one pink. this in here, which we're not going to see much of this texture yet because it's just kind of our second second coat. When we add some lighter and darker values in the ears, then we'll get a little bit more. I'm going to tap a little bit of this on the nose. Get a second layer on the nose. second layer on the eyes here. Oh, it's looking so cute. Okay, back to our rake brush here. I'm going to take this brown and some white and mix together. And we'll do an equal mix of these two, and we'll start adding some lighter stuff in here. Okay, that's a, that's a ton of paint right there. Now the lighter strokes are going to show up quite a bit, so... Be aware of your your fur growth. So the eyes, we're going to bring a little bit down from the eyes, and then we're going to come over from the nose and the mouth and kind of start just taking it all out. Let me get a little water and mix a little more. Just try and tickle it across there with those tips. And that was a little much there. I want to get a little closer to the eyes now. Hope I'm staying on camera. This in my hand, kind of turning in all directions here. Now, if you can't find these at your Dollar Tree, they do have them online. I don't know how many you have to buy. I've never bought from Dollar Tree online. Just a little bit on the ears. Let me mix a little more. We're going to go to a detail brush when we add our last colors on here. And then we'll do some shading and stuff on here. Because we want more defined little hairs on here. This is still just kind of all undergrowth and stuff like that. Well, he's looking cute as can be. Super duper cute. Okay, I think I might do one more quick 
quick little coat in the ears. Let that dry. A little bit on the nose. He is coming together. I'm going to give him a little dry. Remember, he's plastic, so you don't want to uh, get your heat tool in one place too long. You don't want to start softening that plastic. Okay. I think I might work on the eyes. Let me grab a <coughs> small round brush here. Some black paint. And we'll see if we can give this little guy some cute eyes on here. I don't know. I'm not I'm not an animal painter, so I'm not I'm not even sure exactly where his eye needs to go. Put it there, more towards the front. Oop, okay, not like that. I'm gonna have to turn this so I can pull it towards me. Pulling it towards me is much easier than pushing away. I, ha I don't have as much control when I push away. Okay. This one's a little bit bigger, so I might make this one just a tiny bit bigger. Okay. Super cute. Super cute. Okay, so my pink that I have there, uh, let me grab a little angle brush. <clears throat> I'm going to side load my quarter in uh, yeah quarter inch angle brush and I'm going to put some of this along the bottom of the nose darken it up down there I don't want it on the top I just want it on the bottom Okay, so see on the very bottom of the nose, a little flow to that, and we're going to put some of this inside the ears, down, down in here, just corner loading that and just tapping it in there, go along this edge and kind of settle down that little hard line right there. I think we'll go up a little bit higher. So I'm trying to think of bunny ears. Would it be darker on this side or that side? I don't know. I don't know, but we'll put we'll put a little bit more in here. Just bring it up a little bit more, okay? It's like a backward C, I guess. On this side, and we'll do the same thing. Put some in here. I'm going to take my brush and try and smooth out this hard edge that's down here. And then go back to my blending. So we've got that and that looking good. Looks good on the nose. Cute little nose. Alrighty. Okay, so before, well actually I think I might use my rake brush next. So let me grab my rake brush. It's a pretty big one. So I think first I'm going to put a little bit more of that dark chocolate out 
And I also want some fresh white out. Okay, I think what I might do is put a few strokes of brown in here. So when using a right brush, again, you want your paint to be um, inky consistency where it has flow off the tip of your brush. I like to tap my paper towel. Oh, it's got pink on my thumb somewhere. Maybe not. Got pink on the cheeks, which we might pink up the cheeks. So with this, I'm going to just tickle this across here and add some dark stuff back in. I think I might actually add a little black to that. Make it a darker brown. Not too much. We don't want to take away. We're just creating a um, soft layer in here. It's a little bit harder for me while I'm holding this up in the air because I, I want to set it down and get some stability, but uh, I can't get you on camera as well. turning out super cute. Just a little bit of that dark mix. You can go with grays underneath your bunny if you want. And make a more uh, white bunny. That would be super cute. Just a little bit in here. I think we'll finish off the inside of the ears a little bit um, real quick. Here because this doesn't this looks still pretty regular. Okay. All right, he's looking super cute, or she's looking super cute. I guess I should say she's looking adorable. Okay, I'm gonna take a my small round brush that I painted the eyes in with, and take my pink. Try and stroke a few hairs in here, maybe. I have to go to a smaller brush. And let me put some fresh paint out, because fresh paint always works best. And I'll get a detail liner here. As soon as I find it. Oh, that's a small one, not the long one. I prefer to have the long bristled one. Here it is. Alright, I'm going to mix a little water in with my pink paint here because I want it to have some flow. And then I'm going to try and put some little hairs in here, maybe at brown. I don't want to put black in there. I need to darken these a little bit. Fluid consistency and I'm barely letting this brush tickle across here. I'm going to try and hold it up in the air and do it but it's much harder when it's up in the air. I'm 
with a little blob right there. I didn't like it. Okay, I'm going to put some on this ear. Barely tickle that brush in there. Start adding some little hairs. Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush. And then I'm going to mix pink and white together. Pink and some white. Make a light pink. We need a little water for flow consistency. We might actually have to do mostly white and less pink. We really want these to be seen in here. Need a bit more water in there. And we're going to come in with some of our brown hair and pull it into the ears a little bit. Just a little, few little hairs in there. brush touch down too hard, leaving those little globs in there. Kind of give your brush a little, a little flicking motion as you're doing this and that will keep them from just being straight little hairs. It will give them some movement. That looks pretty cute on there. Okay, I'm going to go back to my little round brush here. Because I want to start putting some, um, a few white hairs in here. I'm going to start with this brush. I'm going to do it in the back in case I don't like it. And then I'm going to um, go into my, my detail brush and add a little bit more in here. Inky consistency using just the tip of the brush. And if you get your your rabbit too light, we can come in and wash over the fur with our brown color and get it back to a, a brown color before we add our final few strokes of okay that's that's getting a little a little heavy handed there <laughs> You can continue with a detail brush like we used in the ears, but I wanted these to be just a little bit thicker. I'm just kind of creating some highlight stuff in here. A little more 
water. When I um, reload my brush and add water to my brush, I tend to go and touch my paper towel so there's not a thick little blob on the end of my brush to come off. So I'm just giving a, a little movement to some of these fine little hairs here. Are these thick little hairs? That one was pretty thick. A little bit more water in my paint, touch my paper towel, and tip of the brush. A little bit of a blob back there. Okay, I'm going to start going up on the ears here if I can. I really don't want my bunny to, to turn to a white bunny, so I'm going to come in and wash it over with some. Tippy 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 toe of that brush. It's getting a little wild with my white hair. This is going to give us some highlights in our fur so when we wash over it, it won't um, be all one, one value. Getting a little heavy handed. Some wild hairs on these ears, let me tell you. Now he's not going to be a true <laughs> real looking bunny, so yeah, all you uh, animal painters out there, just uh, remember he's just a playful little guy. Playful, playful. Fun little guy. Okay. I think he's got quite a quite enough little white ones in here. Put some washes on him now and uh, getting back to a brown bunny add a few brown hairs in the ears so I'm gonna make a little wash of this brown my brown here. 
here. It's got a little bit of pink in it, but it'll be okay. So I want to have him a little bit darker under his eyes here and in between the two ears. So this is where I'm going to uh, concentrate my washes right now. A little bit of shading around the ears. This is just some shading in here, okay? It's a, it's a little wash. Don't got a ton of color in my brush. bottom of the nose and each side of the mouth here. Don't forget this eye. I might make that just a touch darker underneath that eye. Maybe get some of this darker. Try and give this little guy some eyelashes. darker color I think around the ears. Get some water. I need water for a wash. Touch touch more black in that brown. I need it to be just a scooch darker. shadow under the neck. I think I want a little bit more brown wash on him before I add his bright white highlights and his final hairs and detail the eyes out. So a little bit more of that brown and I'm just going to wash it in a few places. Make him look more, more brown. Oh, let's wash a little pink on his cheeks. Give him some pink cheeks, or her. I keep calling it him, but it's a her. That's a little wet. I'm going to have to dry that and then redo it, because that's super wet. finished drying there on the cheeks. I gotta redo it. It's it's too wet. But in the meantime, I'm going to touch up on the eyes. Try to touch up on the eyes. shine in the eye. A highlight on the nose. I 
Okay, so I feel like it needs some more of the brown, maybe brown and black hairs. Thin that down. I definitely need some coming up here into the ears. And he's just a fun, playful little bunny, so I don't I don't want you unless you're going for a realistic bunny to stress out about this guy. Gal. <laughs> it really is a girl, I'm telling you. So we'll put some darker hairs back in here. And then we are going to finish the eyes. And the mouth. Not getting my paint to flowy consistency here. It's very frustrating. Some little finer white ones coming out over there. All right, let me do some cheeky stuff here. I'm gonna try this little dome brush and try and just rub it on there. Super cute. I might do that a second time to um, get it dry. Or after it gets dry. <laughs> Spit my words out here in a second. Goodness. Not getting any flow off of this brush today. Make sure I got this side. All these little hairs coming out of the ears. Looking super cute. Talking with a brush in my mouth. Uh, I want to do the pink again on the cheeks. Kind of tap some in there. You can pink. Cute pink. Cute. You can add a little white to that pink if you feel like it's a little bit dark. Brighten it up. Okay, still want to keep it kind of transparent because we want to see the uh, hairs and everything. All right, let's see if we can make some whiskers coming off of this dude gal. finish out the eyes but before I do that I want to darken where the mouth is some of that black out and add a little bit of brown to that okay too much water <sighs> mm. 
And then we'll make a pink little mouth down here. Huh? Okay, let me see if I can outline the eyes. Fingers crossed. Again, you can use a ink pen, a permanent acid-free, non-bleeding, give her some eyelashes. Try and get you on camera here. I have no idea how this video is going to turn out because I'm not paying attention if I'm underneath the camera shot or not. So. Hopefully you guys are getting some idea of what I'm painting here. Just a few cute little eyelashes. Nothing big deal about, okay? Alright, let's see about a pink mouth. So I'm going to take some of my pink and some white and see if I can get a little oh that, that was a big old blob of water that just ran down my brush Trying to get it where it's as opaque as possible for that little mouth there. And it looks like I messed up the um, whisker over here because it was wet and apparently I stuck my finger in it. Okay, a little bit of shading on that mouth. I'm going to use a little bit of black. Each side of it that comes down from the nose. And then a little bit underneath. If you can get to the underneath part. If you can't, don't worry about it. Okay. Well, it's a cute little gal. Finally, I said gal. So, now that I've got my little bunny painted, um, I'm going to see how it looks on the thing before I varnish it. Because you do want to varnish this, especially if it's going to be handled. If it's something you're going to give to your grandkids or something, you want to make sure that the paint doesn't chip off and it's protected well. So you have choices with varnish, flat varnish, matte varnish, satin varnish, gloss, high gloss, uh, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm going to maybe do a gloss or a high gloss, so let me get my varnish. Okay, I've settled on a gloss varnish here. And I'll probably put at least two coats on here. And I'm going to use a brush and just brush it on. Don't get it too thick on your first coat. It's very easy to do when you're brushing it on. That's why I generally like to apply all of my varnishes with a sponge. So I have much more control on how much goes on my project. Yeah, 
Definitely two coats, if not three, if it's going to be handled quite a bit. If you are just setting it out for a decoration, you you know you may be able to get by with one coat. But you want your paint to last, so you know if you're storing it and it gets against something, you know that's heavier or rougher, um, even if it's wrapped up, uh, you'll then you'll probably want a a little bit more protection on it. So I would say at least three coats. So I'm going to let this dry and probably put two more coats on it and then we're going to see how it looks. Okay, I think mine is mostly dry now. I did just put two coats on it because I'm in a hurry to get this done because we are getting ready to have very severe storms here. So I'm going to screw it on. Look at that! So cute! I want to finish it off with a piece of ribbon, hopefully. Um, I've got these two teal ones. I like this one with a little bit of sparkle on it. So I'm going to get this done and get all of my painting stuff put away and get my computer equipment turned off, getting ready for my storm. I'm not a fan of storms. This one's supposed to be pretty severe around us, so... So let's see. I think this will be a cute little bow. Not really sure how long I need here. I'm just going to tie it around the, the like would be the neck area. Um, that way when you remove it, when I remove it to fill it with candy, this will come off along with the bunny head. So I won't have to be... Um, doing anything separate. Okay, cute little bow on there. Cut those tails off. Maybe. <laughs> Keeps wanting to flip on me. Cute little bow right there. You can glue it on if you want to. Super cute! Super cute! I think I will call this a done project. Let me lay it down so you can see it. Oh, look at that, you guys. So adorable. There you go. Take a Dollar Tree little... Um, this is actually called a snack dispenser, but it's made for little bitty gumballs. Here's one that's shaped like an egg. So, look, you can go from this to this. How fun is that, you guys? I hope you've enjoyed this one. I sure enjoyed painting it. I had this, uh, as soon as I saw this, I had this in my idea, in my head. Ugh, can't even talk. I had this idea in my head that I wanted to do it, and um, uh, I bought the eggs maybe thinking I would do it, but when I saw the bunny, I'm like, oh, I gotta do a bunny. Got to do a bunny. So um, it was a lot of fun, you guys. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you have. Um, please comment. Please like. Please subscribe. And please share. I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.